Okay guys, today I have a 1977 Ruger Standard. Now they first started making the Standard in 1949. In 1950 they introduced the Mark I, which had adjustable sights instead of fixed sights. And then they continued to produce the Standard and the Mark I side by side up until 1982 when they released the Mark II. Now one of the interesting things about the Standard and Mark I is that while the safety is on, the bolt is locked. If I disengage the safety, you can see that I can cycle the bolt. And if I pull the bolt back and turn the safety on, the bolt is locked open. Now this is the only time you should see the bolt locked open on a Mark I or a standard is when the safety is on with the bolt pulled back because there is no last round hold open on these guns. So, just like the Mark IIs, the Mark I's and the standards do not have a magazine button release. They actually have a heel release down here at the bottom of the gun. So if I pull this magazine out, you'll notice this looks very different from the Mark II and the Mark III magazines with this wide aluminum base plate. This is actually a nine round magazine and it's not until the Mark IIs that they swapped over to the short plastic style that held 10 rounds. Now you can use Mark II magazines in a standard and a Mark I, but you cannot use Mark III magazines in a standard and a Mark I. Now, another interesting thing is that the button on this magazine is on the left-hand side as normal. However, if you've, got, if you've got an older one from 1971 or before, the button is going to be on the right-hand side. In 1971, they redid the dies and changed how the frame was made and moved the button to the left-hand side. So the earlier guns, 1949 to 1971, will have the button on the right-hand side. These magazines, the 1971 Afterward magazines, can be converted. You have to take the magazine apart and move the button over to the opposite side. All right, now that we've gone over some of the basics of the standard here, let's give it a few shots. All right, and that's a little bit of shooting the Ruger Standard. Uh, as you can see, it's a great little shooter and I can easily see why they became so popular. Uh, I'd love to do a teardown video on this so I can show you how to take it down, but uh, YouTube has deemed that inappropriate for YouTube. So maybe next time.